Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Transport Fever. A nice little look of the river and uh, Tacoma over there in the background. And our brand new Atlantic with its cars moving up and down the line and all of our money going up in smoke. <laughs> We're starting to get a little bit of passenger interest on our lines that we added in. We've got um, we've got four people waiting to leave this uh, station down here, which isn't bad for a city of this size. Um, it's going to grow here pretty quickly, I believe. Uh, we are going to head off to Aurora, I think, in this episode, and go ahead and finish up the left-hand side of this line. I'm looking here at this junction... Um, that we made here that, that has the depot uh, as well as all this stuff coming into it. Um, this is not great. It's not my best piece of work. Um, we're going to have to come and revisit this. I think what we're going to want to end up doing is basically having all four of these come out and then split off maybe out here in the woods somewhere. I think that'll make a little bit more sense. Um, for now, it's going to be fine, and it'll probably be fine for the next... I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years. Um, until we have to get a train from this depot to this other side, which which will be soon. But but we can hack that. We can hack that no problem at all. Well, um, let's see. Where where did our train go? It uh, did we just miss it? We missed it crossing the bridge. Oh, how sad is that? Let's go ahead and grab it. And uh, we will watch it move along the lake. Heading back to Ventura. It was Ventura, right? Yeah, Ventura. Getting ready to enter the woods part of the leg and uh, where it will reach its terminal destination. Well, the people of Aurora have already sent this piece of road out here. That just looks almost perfect for a brand new passenger station. So I think we need to go ahead and visit all of these towns and uh, place all of our stations. Um, oh, Aurora, were you built on the side of a hill? It would appear that you were. All right, that's going to make this interesting. Um, I believe this flexible station... Uh, Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and shut you off. I believe the, the flexible station has the ability to elevation offset. No, I don't think that's what we want. I think we want we want the station slope. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. No, we want it to go we want it to go the other way. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. That's what it is. This flexible station is actually really terrific um let's see we want we want uh two platforms we want um do we want to make it a little bit more modern can we do that i don't see why not uh does that change the price not really okay well we'll just we'll go with a little bit newer design it's it's the people of uh aurora are are very uh very ahead of the times. Uh, let's see. We want to make this a little bit longer, too. I think we want to go with the 320s all the way. Uh, we've got a nice little slope going here, and uh, we want that pointed. We want that pointed about about like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take it, take it like that. Uh, we'll send the bridge off in that general direction, and I believe that will work just perfectly. So let's go ahead and put that one down. All right, and uh, that's going to continue on over here to Naperville, which also has built out a little area for our trains to go. Um, it's a little bit smoother here in Naperville, which will be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's see. Let's let's take the slope off. Here we go. And uh, I think we're going to uh, point this. Ooh, that's that's awfully high there. Uh, can we bring it in? That actually looks like it would fit great if that piece of road was not located right 
there. Okay, actually, it doesn't look so good now that we've uh, removed that. But that doesn't look too bad. So we could probably put the station in there and then offset the eleva weird elevation with the road. Or I should say correct for the weird elevation with the road. Sort of how we did it in Tacoma, only on a smaller scale. That is not attractive. Let's see, smoothing over that probably isn't going to... Well, eh, that works. That works. All right, so here's our next target station. And um, McKinney will be our next one. Okay, we're going to have to skirt this mountain. Uh, probably plow through this mountain. And, uh, oh, let's see. I think we want our station kind of pointing that way. I think that's the way that would be optimally. So yeah, if we brought it out, brought it out to like here. Uh, it's going to be quite a turn there at the end. I think we need to kind of make it favor this side a little bit more. Maybe something like that right there. Right in the middle of the woods. And uh, we'll bring these two roads together and uh, then just send a road going off. Like this. Why is construction not possible there? Hmm. What if we did it with a small one? Okay, something... Something it's not like in there. What if we try to co coax it a little bit by laying it flat? Still not possible, huh? Um, okay, what if we... What if we did it like this? There we go. That that works. A little bit goofy, but um, but goofy, goofy, goofy works sometimes. All right. Um, so there are all of our stations, and now we just need to hook them up. Um, it looks a little bit rough on this side. I would kind of like to take it over here, and that is going to be a little bit of a turn. But I think I think it'll be fine. Yeah, you can still pull 75 around that corner. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take this. Oh boy, you want to do a big gouge through there, don't you? That's fine. Oh, that's not a gouge, that's an elevation. That's a gouge. <laughs> That's okay. It's uh, it's better for the trains um, and their top speed. Let's see. Is this the this is the outside track? Now we're just gonna take it right through there. Boy, I would rather not have one of these going all the way to there. So let's take this end of the line from here. Wow, that is, that, that's quite a little bit of an elevation change there. See what we can do from this end to bring those two together. Too much slope. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of gouging in that mountain right there mountain that little hill right there and uh, that'll be that'll be fine that'll be fine the connection is made so let's go ahead and 
Uh, where can we bring you together? Right there. Okay, and that's going to come um, in on... Going to come in on this platform, I think, and we'll want it to come in on this platform and then go out that way. How are we doing on money? 31 million. I think we've actually made money in this endeavor because I, I don't know. I think we were we like 27 million when we started this. Granted, I know we're not making money by doing this. We're we're spending ludicrous amounts of money, actually. But uh, still, still in the black. All right, I think I think that got that has that line done, or that leg done, we should say. Now, getting over here to Naperville, that's going to be quite quite the little turn. And boy, I don't know. Probably should have done this station a little bit differently. Um, I don't know. Can we can we maintain this velocity going out? Am I seeing that we can? With minimal gouging. All right, and uh, let's see. How far do we need to take this? Uh, do we want to go? So let's let's see about going through this mountain. Hmm. Let's see, how do we want to do that? Let's take this out. Um, get this. Can we convince you to go down a bit? There we go. That was it. No, you're just wanting to gouge through. Ah, there we go. There's the tunnel right there. Actually, a little bit cheaper to tunnel. But uh, the problem is, is it wanna, wants to keep on tunneling. And turn into a bridge. <laughs> um, yeah, not not excited about that. Let's uh, see how far we can take. Okay, that's a little tunnel. And I think I'm good with that. I'm good with a little tunnel going right through there. Because I want a tunnel on our line. I don't think we have one of those yet. And uh, there is a nice little one. Hey, you are wanting to... What do you want to do there? What are you trying to do? Let me convince you to come up a ways. Not that far. Like, I don't mind having a hill, just uh, don't want an insane one. Did that pretty much level us out? Bridge pillar construction. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what you're trying to do there, pal. But we'll do that. All right, and I have completely lost track on if this is the inside or the outside. I think it's the inside. It is. So you will hook up right there. Wonderful. Okay, I think all of this right here is pretty much a mess. Yes, yes, it definitely is. All right, let's take out this road. And let's take out these tracks and see if we can't make this a little bit, a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner.
Okay, and uh, let's see. We need to get to get this road over here somehow. All right, that works. All right, and our second tunnel there, a little bit less than $100,000, or a little bit less than $159,000. It's not less than uh, less than that. It was actually quite more, and actually not nearly as expensive as some of these long, flowing track segments I've been putting down that have been gouging these large berms. All right, there is our second connection. Boy, that's kind of snaky. Kind of snaky. That's fine. Um, this one is going to be going to be just as bad. Uh, we need to take it to right here. All right, and that is our goofy elevated station. We'll do the inside track. Let's just uh, let's just run it like directly to it and just let's see what it thinks about that. Oh, we got a lot of problems, really. Oh, I'm not even looking at the right spot. Um, it's wanting to build, wanting to build all sorts of tunnels and things. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. I think we want to try to, we try to want to parallel this road as best we can. at least as it goes up this mountain. But not connect to it. How goofy is that going to be? Uh, very goofy is how that is going to be. Um, what if we took it up this way? What if we, what if we deleted this road? And used the area that the road was using to run the railroad track. Yeah, there we go. And uh, then we just rerun the road. Um, that got really funny really quick. On down, go ahead and connect in uh, with too much slope. Okay, I wonder if that's gonna be kind of an issue as we're dealing with uh, this station that's kind of on an incline. Yeah, we're gonna have to gouge our way up that hill because of the angle the station's at. Well, that's that's gonna be fine. We can smooth all this out at a later date. All right, that's almost got it all. Uh, let's go ahead and fix this road here. Uh, let's see, I can't find the snap point. There it is. Pick you up here. 
And you don't even have to cross if we're if we're good with this. Just go straight through and connect up like that. Excellent. All right, so there is the Aurora part of the conversation. Now we just have to take it to Ventura, which is a straight shot right in that general direction. So we're going to need a bridge. It's okay. I'm, I'm not afraid. Um, I'm going to take the inside line here, and I think I'm going to do what I did before and remove this road. And uh, let's just... Uh, let's. Let's start. Let's take. Let's take this up a bit. Let's uh, get in here and take the elevation up. And uh, start. Start the bridge like this. Okay. I'm liking it. Not not bad. And I actually do want to take this over. Okay, um... Oh, we got a little bit of a turn in the bridge. Uh, wasting money. Wasting all kinds of money. Yeah, stop trying to snap to that road, please. Does that look does that look straight? I think I like that. All right, this this road here is messing stuff up. Okay, yeah, that's that's it right there. Um. Yeah, it's not not a great bridge. Not a great bridge. Um, we, we still have some practice that we need to do. And uh, can we take this underneath? Ah, we can. Wait a minute. Did that... That did go under, right? Yeah, okay. It was, it was kind of hard to tell there for a second. You... Uh, new passenger car. Excellent. All right, that, that connects up just like that. Wonderful. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this line from here. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, which one was it? This is the outside line, so that's going to be you right here. I'm going to go ahead. Construction not possible. What? Oh, I'm trying to build a road. <laughs> How embarrassing. Yeah, I want to take I take these lines out. Like straight out. There's a way I think we should have done the other two as well. And once they get out here, then we want to veer them over and send them about their very their merry way. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's much better. Yeah, see, why did it why did it want to build this berm here? Um it's just like a big hump. That's not helping anybody. Yeah, that's that's not going to stand. Not when we have this much money. Um, get rid of this road. I think the road was probably what caused the problem. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And let's let's try this one more time. This this time with a little bit of feeling. Now this time it just like gouged straight through. And made it more level. 
a little bit more reasonable in, in my mind. Okay, like that. All right, we're heading off in this general direction, and I don't see where this track is. Um, this one was the outside again. Okay, so you. Whoa, we don't want to. We want to. We don't want to do that. Is that connected? That's connected. All right, I didn't get a good cost on that bridge the last time. Uh, Four hundred thousand. Uh, oh no, you don't want to. You don't want to even do that, do you? Oh, it's this road. Probably should have built the other side of the bridge before we put that road in. I think it'll still fit. Two hundred eighty-nine thousand. That's that's a little bit more like it. Okay, that's that's the tr that's the rail connected. Um, I wonder if we can still get this road under here. This will work. Uh, we just need to get rid of some of this. And connect it up there. There we go. Like it was meant to. All right, we just need to now put in a crossing here. That should make all our warnings go away? No. Uh, Tacoma to Aurora. Tacoma to Aurora. Okay, I guess that's this right here. Oh, yep, Tacoma to Aurora. That right there. All right, that is everything all neat and tied up in a little bow. Um, okay, so it's going to come in on um, this side. We want it on the outside and then coming out over there. I think that is the way we want that. We go, and uh, somehow we need to get this line going all the way over. And I mean, if we did, this is kind of kind of bad looking, really, if I'm honest. But uh, it's functional. Very, very, very functional. All right, I don't think I have put any signals at all on any of these tracks, so maybe that is something we can do. Uh, we're going to want one there. Um, i go and uh, insert and a clear signal. we ever want to take it back, we're going to have to get that one done, but we're not going to be taking them back anytime soon. And, uh, yeah, I think I think that's good. We're only really wanting, running one train, so I don't know that all this signaling is really necessary right now, but I have a weird feeling that we're going to be running more than one train here very soon. So we'll just define some blocks up and down this area. That'll go into there. All right. Well, I'm getting Nancy. Um, let's go ahead and define our our second route here. 
Uh, okay, let's go grab our line manager. Line manager. Add our line manager. Um, and let's start adding points. We are going to go from Ventura to Aurora to Neighborville to McKinney to Wichita Falls. And, uh, oh, that's brown. Let's not make that brown. I'm having a really hard time seeing it. Okay, and Wichita Falls should come in on that one. Yes. And then proceed back to McKinney. And let's see. The first McKinney should be Terminal 2. And come back on Terminal 1. Um, then Naperville, which the first Naperville should be Terminal 2. And then, uh, wait a minute. Why are you being inserted there? Wichita, f Na okay. What's what's what 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 what's happening here? Okay, so it starts right here in Ventura. That's where we're at. We're in Ventura. Yes. Uh, okay, we want this to go to Aurora onto platform two. So that gets him on the right side of the track. Um, Naperville, you are going to be on track two. Um, McKinney, you're going to be on two. And where it goes into Wichita Falls, into that one. Then it comes back to McKinney on one. That is correct. McKinney, then Naperville again on one. Correct. Aurora on one. And then back to Ventura. All right, that's our line. Uh, we are going to call that uh, the city. And this is going to be the Western Main Line. All right. That is that one right there. Um, let's go ahead and get our train on that line. Uh, let's go to buy trains. Uh, we've got... This is the one we used. No, this is the one we used. No, this is the one. No, it was this one. I don't remember. Um, but I think this is the one we're going to use uh, for this route. Uh, the brand new Atlantic. Let me go ahead and buy that. Where did it go? Right here. And we are going to get some wagons. Now, we had a couple of new wagons that came. Um, this Pennsylvania... Expensive. Um, it can hold quite a few people. And this one... Which is cheaper goes a little bit slower but um, doesn't hold as many people but it's so cheap primarily intended for suburban service well we're not doing suburban service friction bearings no air conditioning leather seats and increased lumbar support well, I mean, let's let's take them around in style. We've got we've got money to burn. Uh, let's see. That's going to be sixty six passengers. I think that'll be enough. Just just testing the line out. Um, so let's put that on the city western main line, and uh, we'll watch that one make his way out. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Kind of a little dark, dark red color. 
a little bit of a matte finish. Um, let's see, can we... Let me give you something a little bit more festive. Yeah, that doesn't appear to, uh, to change anything. Can we at least let you match your cars a little bit? I think that works a little bit better. All right, so that one is off. Um, I set up a bus service here. I think I did that in the last video. Um, in Lincoln and in Wichita, I set up some tram services so that we have the trams moving around in both of these towns. Uh, can we see one? Yeah, there's one. So those are going about. In uh, which or in Lincoln, and uh, also in Wichita, and it looks like we're starting to get uh, we're starting to get some some passengers on our Western Loop here. It'll take a while for the passengers to uh, pile up on the other side, of course, but uh, for now, I mean everything's looking things looking pretty good. Even getting a little bit of modernization, some paved streets going on over here in in Wichita Falls. All right, that's only that's only going to grow. Um, okay, so we need to set up taxi lines in McKinney, Neighborville, and Aurora, and that is just going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'll probably go ahead and do that in between episodes. I may set up one. I may set up one. I just wanted to kind of have a look over here and see what we had going on as far as the passengers on this line. Uh, you got 15 waiting. Did we just have a train leave? We did. Okay. Over here on the Portland side of things. Got a number of folk wanting to go in both directions. Portland seems to be growing quite nicely. Uh, we probably need to revisit the goods trains here in a while in order to uh, in order to get goods flowing a little bit better. Um, what's going on here? You are the food train returning with some food. You are the passenger train running full of passengers. Getting some construction materials and things like that. Uh, why do we have fuel up here in this depot? No idea. I'm beginning to think that cargo train, just doing that extra little loop, it, it just, it's nothing but bad. Nothing but bad has come from it. Now it's dropping off fuel up there. Is it you? It's you. Bad train. Very, very bad train. Yeah, I think we're going to have to redesign this line from the ground up, and I don't know how we're going to get this fuel out of here. But this train, this hybrid line here, was a mistake. Um, I don't know. We'll see how much of the fuel it gets. Not very much of it. Not very much of it at all. Yeah, that's a, that's a big mess right there. And uh, it actually needs to not exist anymore. Um, Tacoma is uh, growing nicely. Got a ton of passengers here waiting to go both ways. And a couple of trains coming in to facilitate that. Um, how are our lines doing? Let's take a look at those real quick. Um, let's see about the big winners and the big losers. Um, the fuel line still leading the pack as far as money is concerned. The Eastern Main Line is actually making us a lot of money. Um, our goods lines are starting to to not do so well, but they are still amongst the top owner uh, top earners. And the biggest losers are um, that cargo centennial train not uh, not unheard of not not a surprising and our taxi services really aren't doing that well they're losing a little bit of money but uh, some of these are new um, and some of these are well actually most of these are new uh, some of these have been in service forever um, well, I'm going to go and uh, and set up some taxi services over here so that we can feed our passenger lines that we just created over here. 
And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode where um, we can go and try to figure out why some of these lines aren't making us the money they should. Um, let's find our new train. Um, let's see, vehicles right there. And uh, let's get a load of this guy and see what he's up to. All right, he is heading off into the mountains. Um, our little guy's back here standing in a big pile of coal. Oh, no, he's not. Just looked like he was. It's kind of a sharp-looking train, if I, if I do say so myself. I like it. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. <laughs>